Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'll show you how you can add uh, funnel steps and connect them properly on the drag and drop canvas. So let's get started. Now, uh, I have already showed you how you can start creating a basic funnel, but I thought it would be a good idea to exactly show you how you can add funnel steps and then connect them or maybe if you want to remove the steps uh, so that it gets much easier for you to stay in control of your funnel. All right. So here you can see uh, on I'm on the overview page and I have the initial two funnels that I created in two of my previous videos. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new funnel and I'm just going to create one from scratch. OK, and let me just name it add steps. All right, that, because that's the main purpose of the video. So let me create this funnel. And once I've created it, since this is from scratch, uh, this is going to open up a blank canvas. All right. Now, to add funnel steps, you'll see on the top left side, you have the option plus step. So whether you import a template or whether you're creating one from scratch, you can always add more steps just by clicking on this one. Once you click on it, on the left side, you'll see you have the option to choose what steps you want to add. So you can choose a landing step, a checkout step, a thank you step and uh, later on you can also add upsell steps and downsell steps all right uh, so for the landing step you see you, you can get all the templates but these are specific page templates all right if you want you can import landing page templates for any of these uh, designs if you again for the checkout we have its own page templates for thank you that it has its own uh, page templates so you have the option to import a template for a step or you have the option to create one from scratch. In that regard, you have to design the page completely after you import it. OK, uh, now over here, you have some options on the right side. You can see on the top, there is some free uh, templates. And for people who use WB Files Pro, you can go to premium and you can see the premium templates available. All right. Uh, then on the top, there are other filters to you know, filter it out based on your niche or your industry so that uh, you can find the suitable uh, templates for yourself. All right. So for now, let me just, uh, you know, create the landing from scratch and let me just name it landing one. OK, now once I create the step, you can see it's added over here. Now, as I told you, this is a blank landing page. I've created it from scratch. Let me show you the difference when I uh, import one with the template. All right. Let me just click on add step and I'll just add a landing, uh, but I'll just import a template. OK, now you've heard that we have funnel templates, but this template is basically an individual page template. All right. So you can see both of them are added uh, just that when I import a template, it doesn't ask me for a name of the step. Uh, but obviously, I have the option to change the name of the step whenever I want. Uh, let's say if I click on this one and click on the three dots, I have the option to change it. OK. And I can also change the URL slug if I want to. OK, uh, meanwhile, uh, the one that I created from scratch, if I preview that. There you go, it's completely blank. There is no content in that. Let me just close that. And uh, for the one that I just inputted a template, if I preview that, you can see it has its page design. All right. So that's how you can, you know, add a step either with a template or without a template. So you can see there are two landings here, but in any sales funnel, uh, it is wise to have only one landing and one checkout page. And then you can add multiple upsells or downsells if you want to. All right. So let's say I want to keep the one with the template. Let me just remove the one without the template. To remove a step, what you do is you select the step and you can right click on it on your mouse and you will see it has the cross icon. You can click on the cross icon and it will ask for a prompt you press ok and your step is deleted all right so that's how simple it is to delete a step now let me just quickly go ahead and add uh, the other two basic steps of a funnel which is the checkout and the thank you let me click on add step on the left side i'll select checkout and here i can choose any uh, template or i can start from scratch let me just import one and there you go the checkout step is added and now I'm just going to add a thank you step. All right. I'm just going to import this one as well. There you go. So now I have three steps, the landing, the checkout and the thank you. And I'm going to connect them. Now to connect one step to the other, what you need to do is you'll select the step and hover your mouse on this purple icon on the right side that has an arrow on it. All right. Once you hover your mouse, you'll see your mouse icon has changed into a plus. OK, so just click and hold and drag this on top of the next step you want 
the uh, person to go to after this page so the next step after landing should be checkout so i'm just gonna uh, drag it on to checkout so once i drop it on top of checkout you can see this is connected again if i want somebody to go from checkout to thank you i'm just gonna select the checkout step i'm gonna hover on the icon on the right side click and hold and then drag it towards the thank you step and there you go it's connected to the thank you step okay so that's how easy it is to connect your step in order and then you can just reshuffle it on the canvas however you want and uh, add more steps maybe and connect them uh, any way you want okay and obviously you need to remember that whenever you have this tag no product added you have to add the default product for the funnel all right so uh, you just have to click on this icon and do that uh, i'm just going to show that to you in the next video real quick uh, so if there is anything that is unsaved you'll see this purple button right here called save just click on that and this is going to be saved and this button will become disabled again so this is only enabled when you have anything unsaved all right so if i move this one you can see that will turn purple again because now i've changed the position now i'll just save it here so i'll just click on save and now if i get out of the funnel and come back in this is how this is gonna stay all right let me just show it to you you can click on this one and this arrow and this will take you back to overview and this is the funnel i was just working on okay called add steps i'm just gonna edit this again and once this is loaded you can see the steps are in the same positions they were at a few seconds ago that i showed you okay so that's how easy it is for you to add steps and then connect them all right the next video i'll show you how you can uh, add the default product of your funnel so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video